Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how we can find out the IC50 value. That means inhibitory concentration where the 50% inhibition occurs is calculated from the visual inspection of Excel graph. Okay, uh, for today's tutorial purpose, we are using this data. At first we have, this is the percent scavenging rate. This is the percent scavenging rate and this is the concentration of the extract or the standard, whatever you say. And you can see that the percent scavenge, uh, scavenging rate shows that the inhibitory concentration 50 or IC50 value lies between the concentration of 50 and 100. That means there will be a specific value between 50 microgram per ml and 100 microgram per ml where the inhibition of 50% has been conducted or accomplished. Now, how we can find out that value? Let's start. At first, we have to we have to select the whole data, then go into the insert point and select this scatter. Then I'm going to select this pattern. And you can see that there comes a graph. And this is the concentration and this is the percent inhibition. So uh, for our internet purpose, I am enlarging this graph and I'm going to add major and minor grid lines. You can see that there are grid lines and this is for the x-axis, grid lines, x-axis. And I am going to add y-axis, major and minor grid lines in this graph. So for the addition of y-axis, major and minor, minor grid lines, I have to choose this particular concentration regions. After choosing this particular concentration region, it has been selected. You have to right click on your mouse and you will find the option add measure grid lines. This is the measure grid lines. I am also going to add minor grid lines. Similarly, I am going to choose this portion and right click and you will find this option. Add minor grid lines and this is the minor grid lines. This is for y axis and the x axis measure grid lines already been added. Now I am going to add x axis minor grid lines. In a similar way, I have to select this whole range of percent inhibition and right click after, after a selection, right click on it and you will find the option add minor grid lines. After adding the minor grid lines, you can see that the percent inhibition, that means the 50% inhibition, the 50 inhibition occurs between the concentration of 50 and 100. So we are going to exclude this portion of this graph and only visualize this portion, the portion between 50 to 100 microgram per ml. So to this, we have to right click, uh, at first we have to select this option, then right click on this and we have to select the format axis and you can see that axis option and uh, everything is already auto, but I am going to fix this one, everything I am going to fix. And the minimum, minimum uh, point, that means the starting point should be, since it is nice between 50 to 100, I am going to select 50 as the minimum and maximum, I am going to choose 100. 100, sorry, 100. And the major unit, I'm going to choose as 10. And the minor unit, I'm going to choose 1. 1. And after choosing this, I'm going to choose this close. And you can see that uh, the Excel has automatically modified the graph. And now you can find that the IC50, that means 50% individually concentration lies between 60 to 70 between 60 to 70 and you can also split this 60 and 70 portion for better uh, a result or better understanding of the egg, uh, more accurate value of the 50 percent inhibition we can further split this 60 to uh, uh, 70 this concentration uh, region 
like the previous one to do this we have to select this um, this portion then uh, we have to right click after confirmation of the selection right click on this one format data axis and in this question we have i am going to write the maximum unit as 70 and the major unit as one and the minor unit as 0 0.1 0.1 and you can see that there comes the 50% concentration in inventory concentration and we can see that this is more specifically you can see that uh, uh, the, the graph if we expand this one you can see that uh, this, this portion lies between this region from starting from 61 and ending from 63 and it is more specifically we can say that it is 62 it's very specific 62 we can also split this portion to get uh, a clear cut or more accurate view of the 50 percent inhibitory concentration region so for better understanding i am going to split this y-axis uh, at first i have to select this one right click after confirmation of the selection selection confirm right click format axis i am going to uh, use the fixed i am going to use uh, 40 to 60 yes i am going to split this curve into the region of 40 to 60 and the major unit i am going to use 2 and the minor unit i am going to use 1 or i can use 0 0.5 Okay, and after this, uh, we can see that the inhibitory concentration 50 is lies more closer to the 62. It crosses the line just before 62 and between uh, uh, before the two. Uh, that means uh, it is uh, split into 0 0.5. That means it is uh, uh, 61. Point Point uh, uh, nine five, and this is this is the a more accurate concentration. Uh, the inhibitory concentration of fifty. That means IC fifty has been obtained. You can also split this one even into more uh, more uh, minor concentration to visualize uh, more specific concentration as you like best. 